Oh, Shenandoah. So, hey, I'm pretty productive today. I've had a few tabs written. I've just been trying to tweak them and get a few of these out. Um, I really wanted to do a beginner one for this as well, uh, but I haven't got around to it yet. But, hey, uh, this so this is the oldest folk song in America, and it's just so gorgeous. A few months ago, it got stuck in my head, and I worked it out on banjo, mandolin, fiddle, guitar, and a piano. Like, I could... I couldn't get enough of the song. I don't know why. I just could not get it out of my head. But um, I hopefully if it gets in yours too, you'll have something nice to play. Uh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Um, it's great for singer songwriter folk sitting, uh, open mic night, something like that. But uh, anyway, hey, let's open up the tab and uh, follow along. There's also in the video description, along with the link to the tab, a, a two means of supporting the channel. There's a PayPal and there is a um, was it a Venmo? Yeah, sorry, I didn't get much sleep last night, so uh, I'm a little wonky here, folks. So if you can't support the channel financially, which is understandable, it's the whole point I have this channel is to have free lessons for people, um, at least give me a like. It, it is not for me, it's for other people uh, to, to find these lessons for free. Um, I, I don't make any money off YouTube. Uh, I, I don't, nor do I, I want to. Um, I already have a day job. So when you give it a like, it puts it out there into the algorithms for everybody else to find. So if you found this helpful, uh, give it a thumbs up. And uh, should you feel so inclined, throw a, a dime in the tip jar to help me keep all these instruments strung up and my kids' instruments and two other guitars there and a dulcimer and a, a bass. You get the idea. So um, this one's pretty easy. Let's dive right in. Okay, so with this one, the pick direction is, you know, in a lot of my videos, I emphasize that, especially with flat picking. I think it's still important here, but it's not super critical that you're to a T on it. Um, I'd say when you get it before, you, as you're getting it under your fingers, try it the way that I got it. If it doesn't fit your style or whatever, just change it up. Um, but ultimately, you know, this is just an original arrangement. This is the way I put it together and the way that I think it works best to help the song flow. Um, so there's really no right or wrong way to play it. Um, you know, like I said, it's, uh, it's own, th there are many versions. So this is just mine. Um, you know, I had one vision in my head, honestly, and there was part of the melody that my wife, uh, who used to uh, sing in a, a choir, uh, at her college had, had, uh, convinced me was slightly off and I, you know, I changed it and I think it came out for the better. So again, that was a conversation we had was, well, there's really not a right or wrong way to play it, but I think this fits better. So um, a few chords to run over real quick that we have in the song. It's really easy. We got a C major, we got an F. We're gonna play it like this though, because we need the hammer on. We have a um, an A minor. We also have an E minor. We're gonna play it like this though. I usually play mine like this, but we're gonna play it like this because uh, you'll see why when we get there. Um, and there's also a very, very brief, like as in one stroke partial G where you start actually on the B and you just play three notes it's all and there's this little funny thing at the very end to cap it all off but we'll get there so um let's uh give it a shot here so the it may help if I I'm not a good singer but I'll uh I'll try to at least sing the melody so you, you can at least hear it. I always find that helps. So we... Oh, Shenandoah, I long to see you Look away, rolling river Shenandoah, I long to hear you Away and bound away Cross the wild That's how it should sound um, whenever you're playing it along. So um, let's dive in here. We're gonna just start, kick it off like a G, G, open, C, two down strokes. I changed my strings last night, so my strings might sound a little funny, but I think you get the gist of it. And we're gonna do, so that's the sh sh And then we do this kind of like a double down stroke. It's like a little Tony Rice trick where you go. So. Two down, so. You pick up for that G. 
If you want to do three, go for it. Knock yourself out. Then we're going to do... That's a hammer-on to the F chord. So we're conveniently in place to the C. When we do the hammer-on, we just drop your pinky down to the D string, and then you hammer on there. So then you go quickly back to the C, so from the top. Whoops. C, then you're gonna do this hammer on and off. Then we do F way. the end of the first line of tab so let's go to on the tab where there's the second F in the first measure there right below that that's after the there we go down up down okay so now we are going into the second line of tab so this is actually all kind of one lick so for emphasis I'm not you know being dramatic with my picking so from the top slow It's hard to slow some of this stuff down, so it should sound like... So I think even in the tab, I might even have it written as a downstroke. Um, results may vary. So give it a shot, like I said, till you get it uh, uh, figured out. Then you're gonna do this. You're still holding your C, you're gonna go. So now we're where there's the, the first, second line of the tab is a break. You see the second fret, we're, you know, D string, we're still in the C chord. Now we're going to hammer on the A minor chord. The two middle fingers, you're gonna leave your, your, your index finger planted. Okay. Now lift. break we're in the C position stroke that's it and then I'm hitting this C sort of to hammer on it's like those two and then we complete the C chord by hammering on this so away. and you're gonna go so we, we were at the second line of tab we're a minor F, we just hit that C, and now we're at where you see it kind of ascends. It goes three, two, and two to that E minor, and you're gonna go in the C position, just go straight down. And then here, what I do is I usually just flat my finger, my middle finger. And this is why I do the E minor with my two fingers, these two fingers instead of these two. And then an A minor. So that's the uh, second line of tab, the first C right beneath that. 
Susie. This is the C. Cross the wide. That's how you play that. There are three down strokes in a row with that hammer on. Well, four actually, if you count the root. This is that weird G. What I do here is kind of strange um, because and I wanted to hammer on, but I ended up doing this where I'm hitting that weird G one, two, three, and I'm hammer, I'm then striking the two second fret A open D hammering on here and all while simultaneously simultaneously hammering on here like so if you nail it just right it works really well like and I'll even throw my pinky around and give it the low end so it's really a C but I'm not concerned with this down here um, I've got everything else for it so let me uh, walk through it real quick again and we'll wrap this thing up so it's like folks ocean and uh, like i said if you want to support the channel um a couple ways of doing so in there at the very least give me a like it's not for me that's for other people to find these lessons if you found them helpful so until next time thanks for watching